Good evening. A father is looking for answers after a piece from his son's gravestone was stolen. It's one of several that have been damaged in the Decatur Cemetery within the last couple weeks. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson was in Decatur today. She talked with a man who's disturbed by the vandalism. It's been more than 30 years since Adam McGee lost his five year old son. He visits a gravesite on a regular basis, and last week he noticed something was missing. Now he's hoping whoever is responsible just brings it back. Adam McGee checked on his son Aaron's grave a few weeks ago, and everything was fine. One of my wife's cousins passed, and I was here just to see her also, and she's just right over here. And on the way there, I stopped by my boy and see him too. But when he returned last week, he found the guardian angel that usually sits on top of the headstone missing. It was taken from my son's grave. And it's something that we had there, and we've had it there for over 30 years. And it's part of him, part of what we have left. Aguia says that guardian angel is special to him and his family. He's leading him by the hand, taking him to heaven. And that's the way we felt that it happened that he's in God's hands now because of his angels guiding him. And Aaron Aguia's gravesite isn't the only one that may have been messed with. Several headstones appear to have been vandalized, either knocked over or broken. And one near Aaron's has a cross missing. I really can't believe that people would honestly do that. You know, just come over and vandalize it just for the heck of it or for the fun of it. I can't, I can't believe that. Aaron's father hopes someone will just return the piece. Even if they come over and put it back on the stone, leave it sit there, we will take care of it, reattaching it. Think about what you're doing. And you're not really hurting the people that are deceased. You're also hurting the people that have their families here, you know, to have a lot of respect for these people. They do this to the cemeteries to honor them. So think about that.